This video is brought to you by Hyundai Butterworth located in Butterworth, Penang, Malaysia. Hey guys, right here I have a 2019 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid HEV Plus. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they fold out again. The Ioniq in Malaysia does come standard with Hyundai's Smart Keyless Entry and Start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just press the black button again. Along with that smart keyless entry is a push button start system. So to start the Ionic, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. A rack and pinion electric power steering system is installed in the AE Ionic. The HEV Plus trim gets a leather-wrapped steering wheel with a flat bottom design and sport grips at 10 and 2. The Ionic Hybrid is only available with a 6-speed dual-clutch transmission. Also known as a DCT in short, this transmission uses two sets of clutches, one for odd gears and another for even gears. DCT aims to give drivers faster shift times and improved fuel consumption over regular automatic transmission. This transmission features a sport mode and manual shifting via the gear lever. Front and rear parking sensors and a reverse camera with active guidance signs are standard across the range. To the top left of the camera display, the display's color, tint, contrast and brightness can be adjusted. Safety features in the Ionic Hybrid include 7 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, vehicle stability management, hill start assist control, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The HEV Plus trim adds on Hyundai SmartSense driver assistance suite, and this one consists of autonomous emergency braking, blind spot detection, and a lane keeping assist system. The Ionic Hybrid in Malaysia comes standard with a set of 17-inch 5-spoke 2-tone alloy rims. The rims on this car are wrapped in Michelin Prima C3 225-45R17 tyres. Disc brakes are present all round, with the front ones being ventilated while the ones at the back are solid. The suspension is made up of McPherson struts in front and a rear multi-link setup. Hyundai produced the Ionic C-segment hatchback, codenamed AE, between 2016 and 2022. The name Ionic comes from combining the words Ion and Unique together. The Ionic is offered in three different powertrain configurations. There's the standard petrol-electric Ionic hybrid, the plug-in petrol-electric Ionic plug-in, and the full electric Ionic electric. The Ionic Hybrid debuted in South Korea in January 2016. The world debut for all three Ionic versions took place between March and April 2016 at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show followed by the 2016 New York International Auto Show. In its home market, the Ionic Hybrid went on sale in February 2016, followed by the Ionic Electric in July 2016, and lastly the Ionic Plug-in in February 2017. 
Global sales of the Ionic lineup began over the course of 2016 and 2017. In the summer of 2019 for the 2020 model year, Hyundai debuted the facelifted Ionic lineup. While the Ionic was discontinued in South Korea in 2021, production continued for the global market until July 2022. In Malaysia, the Ionic hatchback went on sale in November 2016, with only the Ionic hybrid offered. Sales of the Ionic Hybrid in Malaysia stopped sometime in late 2019 or early 2020 as the facelifted model was never offered. Powering the Ionic Hybrid is a combination of a petrol engine and electric motor. The petrol engine is Hyundai's Kappa, 1.6 liter, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 unit. This engine features variable valve timing and direct injection. It produces 103 horsepower at 5700 rpm and 147 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm. Meanwhile, the electric motor is powered by a 1.56 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, and this one produces 43 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque. Total combined output is 139 horsepower and 265 newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 10.8 seconds, and the top speed is 185 kilometers per hour. The fuel tank is 45 liters big, and the combined fuel consumption for the Ionic Hybrid DCT is 3.4 liters per 100 kilometers. Carbon dioxide emissions is 79 grams per kilometer, and the Ionic Hybrid is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Ionic Hybrid HEV Plus include automatic manual leveling by xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED indicators for the sides, LED rear lights, an LED rear fog light, a chrome front grille, body colored and chrome door handles, body colored side mirrors, and a single exhaust pipe. Speakers right there, and right there, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window lock, central locking, and your window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the front two windows are the only ones that get a full automatic function in both directions. Headlight level adjustment, interior brightness adjustment, blind spot monitoring system, lane keep assist, traction control, 12 volt um, battery reset button, and this button pops open the fuel door. Ionic door sills. And the driver's seat in this Ionic Hybrid HEV Plus does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located right down there, including your two-way power lumbar support. Dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, different modes, driver side temperature, automatic, off, rear defrost, front defrost, air conditioning, recirculation, passenger side temperature. Sync means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control the temperature for both sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature controls. If you hit the driver's only button, the rest of the aircon vents in the car will be shut off, leaving only the ones for the driver opened. Below, storage. The storage area also doubles up as your wireless charging pad. And right in here are a couple of power outlets together with your auxiliary and USB ports. Parking sensors. This Ionic Hybrid is fitted with an Android-based touchscreen head unit. This system features a 7-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers. The stock sound system that the Ionic uses is actually quite alright. We are currently in the Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information, title, artist, album. Down below, you can go for a song, go back a song, play pause, stop, 
under audio. You can adjust your bass mid treble, loudness, balance fader, equalizer settings. You can also select your device. And to go back to the main menu, you can hit the back button again. Alternatively, you can also hit the home button. And there is also a physical back button below. To the left of the home menu, music allows you to go between your different media options. Phone, you can dial a number, look at your phone book, call lists and whatnot. To the right, you can bring up your um, nearby Hyundai service and showrooms, navigation via Waze or Google Maps if available. And below, you can go between the different pages and bring up the list of apps. Various media options, navigation, gallery, calculator, and whatnot. Tuning knob, navigation, FM, AM, seat track, your card slash reset area, and to the far left is the volume and power knob. Central locking, as shown earlier, power folding, side mirrors. If the switch is all the way to the right, that means the side mirrors are always folded out. If the switch is all the way to the left, that means the side mirrors are always folded in. And if the switch is left on automatic, that means the side mirrors fold in when you lock the car and they fold out again when you unlock it. Adaptive cruise control and multi-information display controls. Use the button right here to go between the different main menus. Use the wheel to go between the different sub-menus. Currently, trip B. Right here, trip A. Under the two trip meters, distance traveled, average speed and elapsed time. Fuel consumption information with the average and instant fuel consumption. Engine temperature, energy flow, driving style analysis, digital speedometer, and back to trip B. Next up, the vehicle information menu with the lane keep assist, driver attention, and tire pressure monitoring system. Lastly, user settings, driver assistance, doors, lights, and whatnot. Wiper controls, light and indicator controls, Volume, seat track, Bluetooth telephone controls, different mode selection, and mute. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Cup holders, storage, front center armrest with more storage below, and another USB port for charging. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, sunglass holder, front reading lights, it also doubles up as your interior lights, and the sun visor for the driver's side gets a vanity mirror, and a light. If you switch on the light and forget to turn it off, just close the visor, and the visor turns it off for you. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
window control, speaker, bottle holder and storage. The rear seat bags in this Ionic do fold down, they split 60-40 when folding and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down then locate the levers on the sides of the outer two rear headrests just pull it and flip the seat bags down the one on this side obviously folds down the right seat and the middle seat while the lever on that side folds down the left seat I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a tiny bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are fairly comfortable. Storage pockets on the front seat backs. Also on the front seat backs are cutouts that help with additional leg room. Rear aircon vents, rear center armrests with cup holders, and right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles. There is a hook on the right side. Cabin light. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touchpad beneath the Hyundai badge. Boot space in the Ionic Hybrid is 443 litres with the rear seat backs in place. Fold the rear seat backs down, remove the cargo cover, and the boot space increases to 1505 litres. To the right of the boot is a light, and on both sides of the boot are storage areas. Under the boot floor is a bit more storage along with the vehicle's spare tyre, toolkit and jack. Adjustable headrests, front and rear. Speakers storage, bottle holder, window control and the front passenger seat in this Ionic does get full manual adjustments this lever adjusts the seat back, this lever adjusts the seat height and this bar down here adjusts the seat position Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with the same light mechanism as found on the driver's side.
Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2019 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid HEV Plus. Thanks for watching and goodbye.